the idea that a two-week-old baby can have a conversation with another person, can actively engage with his daddy, his papa, can feel amazing to us because we often think that babies aren't yet socially aware. But when you look closely, it becomes perfectly obvious that they are. Two-week-old baby, totally engaging with daddy. And you can see that his eye gaze is totally focused on daddy's face. The baby makes a facial expression, sticks out the tongue, and daddy affirms. He replies. So he's saying that that facial expression is meaningful. For a baby who's two weeks old, lots of people think that a baby who's two weeks old can't see very well and certainly can't engage. And what this lovely interaction shows us is how totally engaged this daddy and baby are. Good evening. He stays engaged. Here, his eyebrows go up. You can see the baby when you look really closely. We can see the baby making sense, trying to make sense of daddy's face. The baby is really engaged. He's not sitting passively. He's an active participant in this conversation at only 18 days old. It's amazing when we realize how in tune babies are from birth. And it's a different kind of story than we have often understood about babies, that they are already that in tune to other people. Now the baby starts to fall asleep. He's struggling to stay awake to the sound of his daddy and to the face of his daddy. So it's like a fight. Will I stay here with everybody else or will I give in to sleep? And what's really fascinating is that what is drawing him to stay awake is staying in conversation with his father. So his father tries a bit of a wake up call. And he's working hard to get the baby to stay awake. And you can see that even as the baby's eyes, he's, this baby's really fighting. He wants to go to sleep and he wants to stay awake. And as his eyes stay open, sort of half open, where his eyes are, are on daddy's eyes. He's in tune, not just with daddy's face, but with daddy's eyes. Babies come, human babies come into the world ready to have conversations with other people. See? Fighting to go to sleep and fighting to stay awake at the same time. And we've got big sister sitting over here to the side. So she's, she's part of it and she is certainly engaged even though the baby is staying most focused on daddy's face. But she's commenting on the baby's engagement, even, even though the baby is staying most focused on daddy's face. It's really interesting to know that babies at birth can see 30 centimeters. What they can see is basically, well, I think of as breast distance, that, that here is all I need to see is the face of somebody who's holding me. They can tune into faces. They don't need to see way far out that way, but they do need to see this. And babies come into the world with a brain that lets them do that. It's amazing to think what the human brain is skilled at doing already at birth, socially engaging. So you can see, as daddy makes a sound to try and keep the baby awake, it helps the baby to stay present. Every time his eyes are even half open, he's staying focused on daddy's face. And here, we get a smile. 
See you. Now there's a big controversy. Is that smile meaningful or is it wind? And lots of teachings say a baby that young can't smile meaningfully. That has to be wind. It doesn't mean anything. But that's not the meaning that we seem to get from Daddy's face. Daddy's face says, Hello. What a joy to interact with you. Daddy responds in an emotional way. He matches the baby's smile. It's as if he's, he's saying, We're together. It's lovely to have your attention in that smile. And what the baby experiences is Daddy's response of a smile. That makes us start to think, what would the baby experience if Daddy hadn't replied with a smile? It almost matters less what exactly the baby's experience is as what our experience is as parents. Because what our experience is frames what we do back, how we respond. And that response is what shapes baby's brain development. We know that human brains are shaped by the experiences that they receive from other people. And this daddy is smiling back. And if we could see the face of the big sister, I'll bet she's smiling back too. Good boy. Good boy. And the baby stays smiling for several seconds. And in fact, the daddy almost praises. The daddy says, good boy. He's marking the fact that we've just shared a smile. That means that the baby will hear his voice associated with a smile, with the baby's experience of a smile. Daddy is marking it simply by what he says. See ya. And you see, can you see? Look, here is this eye gaze totally tight, totally focused on each other at 18 days old. The baby makes a little tiny vocalization and daddy hears it and he replies in the same emotional tone. It's another way in which he marks what's meaningful in the baby's behavior and therefore the baby notes that marking unconsciously but the baby feels, the baby's brain feels daddy respond and so the baby starts to have a sense of what is meaningful in his own behavior. And it's happening at two weeks old. It doesn't happen just later on in development. It happens from the moment that we start to make relationships with other people. And just for a moment, Daddy looks up and shares this moment with the cameraman, this relationship that he's crafting with his newborn son. If it feels amazing to think that a baby who is 18 days old is an active participant in conversations, then that helps us to understand why the neuroscience and the developmental psychology is so exciting, why it has so much to tell us about what the human brain is capable of from birth. And it also helps us to understand that knowing that about babies makes them so much richer for us and for parents like Papa. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening.